ArcelorMittal Future Scan, putting it together for you. Try to find your geographical location, and then as I start by pushing the button, you can see what's going to happen. By midnight or so, they're still going to move across the region, still have wind, probably the number one thing I'm most concerned about, hail secondary. But it looks like a cluster of these thunderstorms are making it as early as 3 in the morning out toward Leavenworth and out toward Lawrence. Here comes the bowling ball of action, some heavy torrential rainfall for the morning drive, and also the possibility of gusty winds. Meteorologist Nick Bender, meteorologist Katie Horner will be here starting at 4.30 in the morning. That first line moves out. Atmosphere will reload a little bit. The front will be passing through. Look what happens by mid-afternoon, early evening. Some thunderstorms start to line up once again from Maryville, arcing all the way down east of Sedalia. But once that leaves, that'll be it. But that secondary line could also bring a little bit of severe weather in the form of damaging winds and hail, something we'll be monitoring. Meteorologist Neville Miller and yours truly during the afternoon shift. Looking at the exclusive first alert nine day forecast, impact because of that chance pre-dawn and also in the afternoon hours. Cooler than today, only 63 degrees and cooler than that on Thursday. Chance of showers mainly in the morning, 70 on Friday, but then the cool stuff starts to move in, especially next week. 60s and 70s heading into the weekend, then turns to 60s and 50s from that point on. On, starting on Monday, even some showers moving through and the morning temperatures back into the upper 30s to near 40s.